in the studio we have Dio Favante. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. Nice to meet you. Thank you for joining us. We've got some questions for you. Are you ready to get started? Yeah, indeed. Yeah. Okay, so Dio, tell me, what age did you get into music and who was it that inspired you? Um, I got into music at a very early age. I would say around eight years old. And my biggest inspiration uh, out of everybody, I would say Michael Jackson. Yes, I'll agree with that one, <laughs> Michael definitely. Jackson, yeah, yeah. Was he the first single you ever bought? No, that wasn't the first single I ever bought, but he was the first guy I tried to practice his moves, <laughs> <laughs> if anything. But my, I think my first single I ever bought was uh, LL Cool J. Ah, yeah. nice mix there. Yeah. Love that. So what's your favorite album by another artist? Oh, wow. Um, I think one of my favorite albums I like is Catch a Fire by Marley and also Illmatic by Nas. Mm. Oh, yeah, I like that one as well. Yeah. What artists do you like? Um, who would you like to work with and why? Um, I would like to work with everybody <laughs> and anybody who just loves music. But um, I think uh, in the UK, um, one of my kind of like heroes that I, I've got a, a lot of love for is Tipper Irie. I would love to work with Tipper Irie mm -hmm. from a DJ standpoint. I think um, I learned a lot from him growing up, you know, in the 80s and stuff. and. I think he, he led the way lyrically and I used to watch him a lot. So tip, I would say Tipper, yeah. Tipper Irie. Oh, yeah. Lovely yeah. guy, yeah. lovely guy. Um, where was the last event that you played at? Um, the last event was in um, Austria, in Salzburg, in Austria, in a place called, uh, with Mountain Reggae Radio, which is part of my family, you know, out in Austria. So one love to the Mountain Reggae Radio crew. What's been the best moment that you can recall? In, in my career? Yeah. Um, Japan. Japan has always been my second home. So um, Japan, I love Japan. Yeah, that's been the best. The, 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 my best experience um, being in magazines, being on radios, touring was Japan. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So Dio, can you describe to us your music and tell us how long you've been writing for? Um, my music is... Uh, it's concept music, it's spiritual music. Um, I can write to any genre of music, whether it's reggae, hip hop, um, uh, rock, guitar based stuff, so I can write to anything. And um, I started writing uh, from about eight years old, I, I reckon, I think about then, yeah. Very young. Yeah, very young. I started writing poetry from about eight and I started expressing myself vocally at 13. So if you could compare yourself to three main artists, who would you pick? No one. No one? No, I think I'm unique. Yeah? I think given the opportunities, yeah, I, can, I think I'm completely different. But I think I take all inspiration from everyone that I've come across musically. But I think I'm kind of different still. So a good eclectic mix. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you could name like your top three favorite genres of music, if you could narrow it down? Well, it, it's got to be hip hop first and then reggae music and then soul music. And soul music. So that those sounds like a good mix. And I love rock and roll too. I love, I love all music. I think music is just a beautiful thing. And I think like it helps us to express e ourselves every day. And sometimes when we go through problems and you know we have different emotions and stuff, music helps to bring out that. So mm. music is a spiritual thing for me mm. and I love it. It, it. it keeps me calm. So professionally with your music, what's your goal? What's your aim? My aim is to get, is to eat off of my culture. I want to be able to eat off of my culture. I want to be able to work, uh, create songs, write songs for other people and perform songs with my band or with my DJs and just keep on creating good music and um, getting more exposure and being able to um, reach more people. So that is that, that's what we're trying to do, is just to reach the public, reach more people with the love that we got, so yeah. Other than music, what other jobs have you had? Um, I would say that uh, uh, the other jobs that I had, I like, I, I, I think that I'm a caring person, so I, I did a lot of support work and stuff with people with learning disabilities, mental health and, and um, homelessness, drug and alcohol and stuff like that, so yeah, I think, anything to do with caring for people yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm into that if you could go back in time what would you do differently 
stay away from people. <laughs> <laughs> certain people, that's for sure. Certain, okay. <laughs> certain, I certain people. all people. Well, you know what I mean? That's, that's, that is debatable. But no, if I can do things differently, I think what I would do differently is, um, uh, as a younger man, I think I'm having the reverse effect, but as a younger man, I think I would have been more humble. I think as a younger man, I, I had too much um, energy and people didn't quite get it. And a lot of the times people don't get things immediately um, if you don't sit back and let them watch you and, and, and observe you. So humility, I think I would have done changed a little bit different. But now I'm a bit older, I don't have no that much humility in me anymore because it's all been dried out. <laughs> it's been enough. dried out it's been dried out you just don't care anymore right no, no. I do care but I, I'm, <laughs> I'm not I'm not pulling any shorts or any punches I'm just wearing my heart on my sleeve and you just take me how I am fair enough fair enough yeah what are you listening to lately myself I've got a new album coming out um, it's called I Am King Son and um, I've got an, uh, an uh, a EP coming out as well called July and Raw and um I'm just in the final stages of mixing everything and mastering and everything. Um, we got a few videos that were coming and um, I'm really excited about um, my music at the moment. I think it's different um, compared to a lot of people who are putting out music in the UK. I think the stuff that I'm doing is very different. Okay. So which of your songs are you most proud of? All of them. All of them. All of them. pick one. All of them has, all of them has a, a um, um, I think the one at the moment that I'm listening to that I, I'm, I'm loving at the moment is July and Raw. Uh, that's such a really good song because in that song I'm like expressing, you know, do people, re I'm asking questions like do people really care? And I'm saying that if we really want the truth, the truth is naked. It doesn't, a lie comes well dressed and the truth is usually naked. So I'm asking questions and, you know, and I'm saying that the pride should be restored in people that's th where the pride has been lost so july and raw is is, is the one I'm, I'm loving right now okay, nice what would you be doing if you weren't a musician i probably want to fight a war somewhere i'll probably want to be uh, in the front line doing something yeah what kind of a war a war for freedom maybe or a war for righteousness or a war for peace or a war i got a war on love actually, because everyone has a war on drugs and a war on terror and a war on, I got a war on love because I, I don't believe there's enough going on, on out there. Okay. So I got a war on love. So I'll be on the front line fighting for love. Oh, that's nice. <laughs>